Alrighty, hello everybody, and welcome back to the channel. What are we doing today in Stormworks? Let's see. Today, I uh, I think I have a I think I have a plan, a full a full plan on how all this is gonna work. So I've been working on the train. Haven't touched this thing in a very very long time. Uh, I put the engine from the ship into the train, so it's probably way over overpowered now. But that's okay. It's in there. It's in there. Uh, so what was I doing? Oh yeah, I just needed to. Uh, I've just finished connecting it here. Let's see. I was connecting the. Is that the? That must be the air there. Is that the air there? Yeah, I was just connecting the rest of this. Uh, engine and I was just going to see if I could turn it over actually. Um, let's see, put this on. Oh, that's going to be too tall. Let's see, we'll do that with that. And then I have the radiators here that should be able to keep it uh, stable. These are just three by threes, so I'm going to have to revise this. I have to change the train around just a little bit. Uh, and then, where is our fuel? Right here. Fuel is here. And... No, that's not fuel. That's... Um, that was the uh, radiator. Because in the other one they go down. All right, so let's cool it there. Uh, one of these. Is the fuel inside? Right there. There it is. Okay. Um, now this one here, we can just go straight down for now. Yeah, I see with a lot of people build their trains, what they do is they use the single wheels. Uh, I know the triple wheels, I'm not sure if they fix it. I haven't, haven't used trains in a long time. Uh, but somebody was saying that the triple wheels, I think they were derailing. So I've just used the double, uh, the double on this. Um, and I'm going to add this build to the train playlist. I don't have a whole lot on there. Uh, just a little bit. Okay, and then this is our RPS connection here. And then there's another RPS connection there, which I might... We'll have to figure something out here. Uh, so this will come out of here. Uh, and I wonder how many gearboxes I'm going to need. I know the train, the thing about the trains, uh, two, three, we can try, we can try three. I think I've got four on the ship. Let's try that. Uh, the thing about the trains, you can't go too fast because of the curves. Now, they, maybe that might have been changed. I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, you can watch the video that I have where I travel to the Arctic in this train. And in this particular train, I found that the ideal speed to travel from the mainland all the way to the Arctic was about 20 meters per second. Um, as you get into those tight turns, if you go too fast, uh, either the train will bind in the corners, uh, which is why I had to fix this, or it will, uh, it just will it'll start, you'll take damage, or the train will literally just stop. It'll just come to a complete stop. Like it'll bind in the, in the corners and it won't be able to move. So yeah, so just throwing that out there. Um, so this would be kind of like the first test. All right, so while I'm doing this, uh, let me go over what, the overall plan here for all of this is. So I've been thinking about storage and I thought, okay, I could make rail cars and I could store the gas on rail cars and then I could just park the rail cars somewhere. Um, you know, but that's pretty risky, right? Um, because the rail cars can always despawn. So I thought, okay, maybe what I'll do instead is I will go to the desert. And in the desert, I can plant an oil rig on the land and when I, so what I'll be doing as well, 
in this this kind of build this kind of build series this is sort of finishing off all the equipment that we're going to need uh to do oil and gas or to do to basically go to space right to uh to be able to recharge ourselves all right and then that's going to come down there and that's going to shoot up through here so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to add gas storage onto the oil platforms um, because you they have i think there's there's six wells that you can drill in the desert and i thought you know what, once the wells are tapped then what the rig just basically sits there right so i thought okay well let's make these rigs dual purpose and so what i'm going to do is i want to set the train up and i want to add i want to get some rail cars to carry gas um, because depending on where we are where we launch from the whole town is my base i enjoy it so if i launch here and get gas here in Holt Town. Uh, then I can take it by train to the desert and I can store it on the oil rigs. Man, I know, kind of. And then from there, I think maybe what I'll do is we might change the launch site probably to the desert. Is it? It's probably what's going to happen. Maybe I'll just change it all to the desert or something like that. So yeah, still, still really in the in the in the thinking and the planning stage of all of that. But I am hopeful. Hot, hot. Uh, that's. This is air here. Wait, did I not connect the air? Oh, whoops! I connected air to the wrong one. Uh, air is here. Yeah. So that's the plan. Anyhow, we've got the train. Uh, I'll build some gas uh, rail cars, and then that way we can, we can take the gas to the desert, and that's where we'll, we'll store it. It seems like a little bit of handling, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, I think that it, the whole goal is to play the game. Um, and I've been trying to sort of get like a, a, a flow, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. I'm trying to get like a flow for the game. Um, yeah, and so like just try to, instead of, let's see, I don't mind the downtime uh, between flights and stuff, but I think it would be cool to just have other uh, additional stuff to do. So when we're, when I'm doing the space stuff, it would be nice to be able to refuel the rocket and just, just go through the whole process. You know, I, I really, uh, yeah. So this one here is air and this can be. Uh, cool. Yeah, that's what I think. I think it would be really neat to just go through the whole process of actually, you know, getting the fuel, taking the time. I think it'll make for a really good series. Okay, and then now this one here and this will be, we'll put blue on this side and we'll put red on this side. And I mean, this engine is probably way overpowered for what we need in the train, uh, I, I think. Um, what did I have in here before? I had two, uh, uh, two of the old engines in here, just two of them, one here and then one in the back. So, and that was more than enough for the train. So I imagine the five, five by five cylinder, <laughs> you know, this is gonna be more than absolute overkill, absolute overkill. Okay, so now let's get let's get the other side here connected, uh, and I'm basically just this is what I had to do in the ship. Um, I had to connect these. Oops. I'm hoping there's going to be enough room to get everything that I want in here. I'm hoping. Now I also might be able to use regular pumps in the ship. I was using the pumps and I mean worst case scenario I reduce the size of the engine you know it doesn't need to be obviously this big in the ship we can't use the full size of the engines uh, I need a lot more <laughs> a lot more cooling right I'm using the engine at uh, 40 percent um, so that tells you I can probably reduce the engine by well 60 percent if I'm only using 40 of it I can probably reduce it by at least at least half 
that's that. Okay, perfect. So that's that. Uh, and then, oops. Let's cut through here. Uh, yeah, so there is, I'm pretty sure there is a build video out uh, for this train. Did I not cut through the second? I did not. That's that one there. Um, the other thing I haven't tested is maybe not this one, but there's two sides to these to these here. So I mean, worst case scenario, I can always double up the radiators. There is a little bit of space below down here. This is the fuel. I mean, there's plenty of fuel storage, right? So I could always take some of this uh, for the radiators or even um, these batteries here. I think there's there's. Uh, batteries so I guess you probably need a generator as well um, hmm no I think what I'm gonna do for this one is we'll use alternators which are on here we're gonna use the alternators for this one okay uh, let's see and then on this side I haven't come through either I've been drinking so much coffee lately that uh, I just kind of got bored. <laughs> I got bored of drinking coffee. So I'm not, uh, I'm just trying to take a little bit of a break. And I'm noticing like yawning and stuff. I'm like, why am I yawning? Oh yeah, because I'm not drinking coffee right now. Uh, let's see. That comes up there like that. And then this. And this. Okay, and now from there. Okay, can't do too much. sense okay so then when let's see let's see what we can do with the radiators here we need the five by fives oh that fits just perfect it would be nice to have the we just don't have the height like that's the maximum height of the train right there so unfortunately the uh that I don't even think I can put a pump on the roof here. Oh I can. Oh that is so perfect. Okay. Uh let's see here. Let's see. That's fluid in. Okay. So let's let's plan for the pumps here. And this is what I did on the ship. Just in case you're wondering how I was able to get the ship stable, this is what I what I ended up doing. One, two, and three. One, two, and I know it it, it might seem like a little excessive, uh, but you saw it took me a whole day or more of testing try and get it to be stable and this is what I had to do to finally get it to be stable so that's why I was thinking that there's two there's two sides there's, there's two sides to this um, and maybe what I might end up having to do is put a couple more radiators on here uh, we'll have to see how it goes um, yeah we'll have to see how it goes how much power I have and all that sort of stuff okay so this one can go here and I guess we can have Let's see here. 
one there and one there. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of room. If I need to, if I can add a couple more, that would be cool. So we can figure that out later. Okay, so now, now we kind of have to work some magic with the pipes. And now this train is very basic. There's no Lua or anything in in this uh, train. There's just literally nothing. There, I don't think there is a touch screen in here. It's just buttons. So I will be adding a uh, touch screen. Pipes are just gonna twist and turn. I do kind of miss when the pipes would automatically attach when you just ran your mouse over it and it would it would automatically. I don't actually know if the pipes ever actually did that. I wish they would do that. Ah, that's my thought. Okay, now we're into the red. So same thing, I'll have to turn this one around. Come this way. Now, is this just, the pipes are on top, yes. Just preliminary, yes. Uh, we'll definitely be revising this. So we'll go to this one here. Yeah, I think if I can store the gas at the oil rig, once the oil rig is, is empty, I think that would be fantastic. And the oil rig only costs about 100 grand, so it's actually pretty cheap, pretty cheap storage. And then we get to keep the oil rigs sort of in, in play, because once you're done, then you, you put the oil rig away and that's it. You don't have to use it anymore. Okay, so that's that. I have here. Do I have a systems? I do. So just like that. really have no idea <laughs> at this at this point in time I'm just kind of like okay what do I do next what should I do next uh, okay now what do I do okay and then this one here is gonna be what's this one here oh there is two toggle buttons that aren't being used okay this will be our starter then Seven, eight, nine, ten, and I guess that can be our our alternators. Why not? Now, 
this was our brakes. Okay. And then what about our throttle? Is there a th one of these toggles is probably the throttle clutch. Yeah, see, in I had to run it at point two only only uh, 20%. Uh, is what I was able to run it at uh, previously. Okay, so that's that, that's that, that's that. Uh, let's go down into here and probably gonna need a, to connect this somehow. Fuel, fuel must go into the engine. And before we can spawn this in, we have to fill in all these cracks. Okay, is that our fuel there? That's our fuel there. All right. So we'll take a pump. Just like that. Okay, actually, that's not worth it at all. And we'll just run it this way. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so I, I checked on the hydrogen, the ship. So the way it's set up right now, it takes four hours to fill it up. Uh, four hours to get a, enough hydrogen, and then I need eight hours. It takes Oxygen is two to one. So it takes twice as long to get the oxygen as it does to get the hydrogen. So I'm just gonna have to keep working on it if I keep expanding on it. So the D-cell, the hydro, whatever, electro, or whatever they are, they're fine. What I need is additional D-cells bringing water into those chambers because I still, I've got like seven or eight of them hooked up and I, <laughs> it's still not enough to fill up these chambers, right? It's, it's actually done a really good job. Uh, and then what do we have here? We have that and then one of these is probably a, um, a physics spawner. Okay, uh, and then probably connect that to the systems button, right? This, uh, this right here. Now, as far as electricity goes, let's do that. We need electricity to the clutch. All this needs electricity, and then we should be ready. I, I should be ready to start it up. Oh, and then I, I should probably put it on a temperature as well. on today uh no we want the empty one yeah, there we go and then we what do we two nodes uh composite and a number node and this will be out and this will be heat out and this will be engine heat in uh and then let me just see what channel Channel three. All right, so we'll go inside our microcontroller. Separate that. Search up composite. We need the composite read number, and we're gonna read on channel three, just like that. And then we'll update it. Perfect. And now I need a dial. I wonder if one of these dials is free. Oh yeah, a bunch of them are free. temperature okay perfect that should be that let's save it spawn it nice now I saw some people were uh, wow that's we're having issues with the three the three wheels I may have mentioned that already they were having issues with the uh, three wheels in a row Other side. I tell you, when I'm not recording, uh, this game runs so smooth. I'm so happy. Oh, electric hatch. There must be no one here. <laughs> okay, so we'll say systems. Oh, I guess uh, that's the other thing. Probably need uh, a starter button, huh? 
Spell. Okay, this one here. Oh, that was our starter button there. Start. Uh, and then this toggle button is doing nothing, and that toggle button is doing nothing. So get rid of that, get rid of that. Just so it's not so confusing. Um, those three, what's this here? Throttle, that's our clutch. Oh, and then I need a function block as well for the engines. Uh, and just give me a moment here, I need to, I need to check the, the setting on the function block, I forget what it is. Okay, I'm tired of this. Going slow with the auto save. Yes, this function block here. X times point Let's see if it's ready to fire up. Spawn that in. Yeah, so what I ended up having to do was make um, the rail cars a little bit smaller. I, I made them long. The rail cars were as long as the engine is here. And I couldn't make it around corners. I was kept hiding in the corners. So I just had to make the rail cars a little bit shorter. All right, systems, let's see if we turn the throttle to one so we can start it. Starts up, okay, but we don't have any RPS connected, perfect, I just, so it starts, all right, it starts up, yes. Uh, <laughs> that is gonna be Come in on this side because I don't have the doors on this side. Yeah, you need RPS to the wheels, to the front wheel and to the back wheel. other builds I hardly ever labeled stuff and I just try to do it from memory and then you get in and it's like okay uh, what does this do what does that do that's our light that's our starter and that's our system and I think pretty much everything is connected to the systems that needs to be connected oh one of these isn't uh, whatever that's fine one of these doors doesn't work um, 
these are set up. And that one's one to one. Uh, that'll be our reverse, but I don't have a reverse button. All right, so let's save that for now, and let's just see if we can. One hotkey, one give you reverse. I'm just like, I'm thinking like, I want to test it. And then I'm like, yeah, you know what? If I don't put the reverse in there, it's, it, it's something I'm going to need from testing pros. That, and it's going to bother me. All right. So now let's see if we can dial in the engine on the train. So I'm going to assume it's probably going to need to, it's probably going to be sitting around like 0.1. Uh, just given uh, until until I put an actual load on it. So we'll take systems here. We'll just fire it up on one. Glad it fires up. That's nice. Yeah, perfect. And then we'll bring this down to like point two. And let's put the alternators to one. Okay, and now let's put the clutch to point two. No, might need to be a little bit more. want to make sure this is still this is still connected it should still be connected yeah and i believe i'll just need electricity for that one so it was sucking fuel it just wasn't moving and then the brakes anyways i think the brakes are off let's just try that again Yeah, this was a fun build. This engine was a real fun build. Oh, see that? Speeds up there. Finishes loading. Stormwork says I'm ready to go. I was ready to go. Now I'm gonna go slow again. <laughs> That's the light. So we'll bring this down to 0.2, and let's bring this to 0.3. No? 0.5? Why is that? There's our problem. <laughs> there is our problem. Probably would help if I did that. Let's connect. Let's connect things, shall we? <laughs> it always helps when you connect things. All right, now the train should start moving. Hopefully. Hopefully, the train starts to move. Let's see, systems, uh, turn that back to one, and then we'll start it up. Oh, it's a lot slower now, there we go. 
Yeah, this was a fun build. I, I'm not a train builder person, like, so I did, I definitely did my best on this one. All right, so we'll turn that to point two. Uh, I'll turn the alternator to one, and let's try point two. That should be brakes on. That should be brakes off. One, three. All right. Point five. Oh, there we go. Five is a bit much. Point four, five. Even that. Even that's too much. Point four. <laughs> this thing is cooking. Uh, it wouldn't go. Point three? Yeah, there we go. Point three. Now, I think I have a linear speed in here. I do not have a linear speed. All right, so I'll have to put a linear speed on there. Looks like we're going pretty good right now. tell because there's like little to no terrain it's so hard to tell if we're moving so that's too much i wonder if i crank this down That's too much. Probably what I'll need to do is reduce one of the gears, the gearboxes. That's, yeah, I'll have to reduce one of the gearboxes. Wow, we are cruising now. Uh, if I put that to 3-3, three, three, is that going to stop? Yeah, 3-3 three, three stops. But 3-3 three, three is a bit slow. So, don't know what our linear speed is. Um, so, let's put this to 0. And then we'll put it in reverse. And let's put this to down and start to reverse here. Gearboxes up to reduce the gearboxes, and then we'll just be fine. A lot of traction. Yeah, so look, it's running pretty good at point one. Even this, this is probably going to be way too much overkill for this engine. So what that tells me is that uh, what I can do is put in another function block for the flywheel and reduce significantly reduce the RPS that's coming off the engine. No way we're gonna be we're gonna be stable at uh, just listening to how the engine sounds right now. There's no way. It's powerful, I think. Good thing I put reverse on it. I knew I was going to need that. Now we need to calibrate the clutch. I'll speed it up. <laughs> speed it up. Take it back. Obviously, don't need all the torque that this thing has. The engine, the engine in here is large enough; it probably has more than enough uh, 
Um, but see, I say that, and then if I add a carriage to this, then it might not be enough, right? So I'll have to test it under load. Test it under load as well. Uh, but for now, I will... I'll, I'll reduce two of these. Actually, I don't even need to reduce any, honestly. If it's, if it's gonna idle at... Uh, this is totally different than the ship. <laughs> the ship, once you get that load on there, it's, it holds the engine back. But here, there's no, <laughs> there's no real resistance. The engine is so powerful. So I won't reduce it. Um, if I do anything, I'll use the uh, function block on the flywheel to reduce the RPS on the engine. This, I don't know, seems kind of silly. Uh, let's see, one, and then that will start it up here. Maybe this will be a bit better. Doesn't do nothing. Let's see. Thirty-three now. Look, we are accelerating. Holy moly! I wonder if it'll stop. I wonder if it'll catch itself. Definitely gonna have to, yeah. I'm gonna have to change this, redesign this. Really, it doesn't move. Uh, it's such a. A pain. So we'll have to use the function block to reduce. So with the function block, uh, I believe they do x minus three. X minus three, but we could try minus two for this one, and they basically just do this. And what that does is that'll cut the RPS in half. So then I'll need some gearboxes. Let's try two. Um, because our RPS is going to be reduced, right, to like, I don't even know, but it'll be reduced quite a bit. So let's see if we can, what we can do here. Oh, uh, what I, is it worth it right now? Do we test the top speed? Yeah, why not? Let's get a linear speed sensor on. Okay, and then let's get some. There. Speed. All right, let's test this out again, shall we? Ooh. Ooh.
belly to speed just drop right down. Hmm. All right, I'm going to admit, I really don't know what I'm doing here. It was easy with the uh, the the, reg the regular engines. Using these uh, modular engines, there's a lot, there's a little bit more to it. So then I'll try, yeah, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Is that the light on the light on the car train? Yeah. Is that all they do now? The squeal? You have to squeal the whole time? squealing and we can't have the engine running like this. Yeah. So this engine is way too powerful for this uh, and then that just kills it. 32 I get zero. That's ah, kind of stupid. It's stupid. I'm gonna say that. That's just a stupid stupid much or nothing all right so that means I that means I definitely have to reduce the engine or I don't know, I'm not sure what can I do it was so smooth and then they went and broke the engines and now I gotta use these engines and they're not smooth at all. They're fast, I'll give it that. This thing's fast. It'll have lots of power. Maybe that's it, it just has too much power. Too much. But 20, that's the speed I'm looking for. I don't wanna go much faster than that. Um, the other thing I could try is X minus three. We could try that. I guess I can crank the engine down to 0.7 or 0.8. Yeah, that might be what I need to do also. So we'll do this. Uh, we'll start it. All right. How do I redo that? What do I do about that? Is that enough to 0.2? That's how powerful the engine is. Oh yeah, there we go. 0.2. Wow. So yeah, I could. I'm gonna need to reduce this. This engine is just so powerful.
that's a bad thing, really. The temperature's almost already stable at 23 because it's running in such a small, look at point, point two. I feel bad now because uh, I'm using like, this is what I want, this is what I need here, yeah, this is perfect, but look at how little of the engine I'm using. I could probably get away with just one, with just one, uh, uh, oh, what's happening now? We're flying, look, I'm no longer, I'm no longer, uh, we're cruising. Wow, look at that speed. Well, that's good. That's about twice as fast as I wanted to go. Nice. sucking any fuel. This is awesome. This is awesome. Oh no, there goes. There we go. I think it killed the engine now. Oh no, uh, we're going uphill actually. We're going uphill here. Right, so this would have to be adjusted um, if we had, if I was, if I had some rail cars on here. So maybe I'll do that next. It's probably not a bad thing that it has this much uh, power and torque on it. Obviously the engine is, is way too powerful for the for what I need um, and it could probably be reduced by quite a bit but wow it sure does have some power coming up this hill my goodness look at that yeah what I don't have is the RPS I should have. Oh yeah, there we go, see? Crank that up to three, maybe? And then here, we're going up a hill, so I, would, I, I don't expect it to, uh, you know, I would expect it to slow down. It'd be just like in a car, right? Oh my god, we're speeding up, going up the hill. So 0.03 is what we got on this thing. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Well, there you have it. That'll do it for the engine build. Um, now we got to put this to zero. And sadly, I have to try and go all the way back now. And what I need to do is I'll need to put a, a, a switch box in here, which will allow me to switch the uh, gates. I'll put that in reverse. Oh, okay, look, it didn't seem to... 0.33 seems pretty good, and we didn't seem to, uh, maybe that's because I was just already rolling downhill, I'm not sure. So now we're going to go back, we'll go back, I'll save it, and then uh, maybe I'll build, uh, what time are we at here? An hour? Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll build a uh, gas rail car. That'll be the next one. Nice. So we need one for hydrogen and then we need one for oxygen. Yeah, you see these corners here? If you don't have these pivots on here, and if the rail cars are, are too long, the train will just jam in the corners. And now maybe at the time, um, obviously because I, I haven't really tested trains, so like every vehicle you build it, you need to test it so you know what it can do, what it can handle and that. I still haven't really dabbled in trains, so it could have been many things. It could have been the way I built it. Maybe it was too long. Maybe there wasn't enough. Um, I didn't have enough uh, power in the train 
to actually hold it through the corners. So there was a lot to it. So I don't really want to. I don't really want to judge too much uh, this this process yet um, until I have you know like the experience that I have with ships, say for example, or going to the moon. I got more experience going to the moon than I have uh, driving a train in Stormworks. So all right, we are cruising. This thing is fast. I'm so happy how fast this thing is. I never expected it to be this fast. It's twice as fast as I could ever get the other one. Um, hmm. I want to go that way. No, I'm going to go that way. <laughs> Alright, well, this is going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. And I will see you in the next one.